Hello everybody in celebration of nature and welcome to this week's Monday Moment. We take another step into how to create depth in our paintings this week. And here's a preview of this week's lesson. A um, lot of fun, a lot of good stuff happening in here. This is aerial perspective or atmospheric perspective. perspective. That's the two ways you hear it, aerial or atmospheric. They mean the exact same thing. It's a way of creating depth as things move back. Um, they get they look farther and farther away so how do you do that in a small little painting well we discussed that this week and we discovered it there's a nice intro video that explains what the concept is there's another really nice video of the demo and then a small addendum because this little thing right there <laughs> the pink row all the way back I forgot to do that in the original painting and didn't discover it until uh, I got into editing so I came back and added it this coming week will be Independent Study Week. Do something on your own, catch up on some lessons. Whatever you do, post it. Let us see it. Let's see what you're doing. Um, I'm gonna be out of town this week. That's why I'm, this Independent Study Week. I'm gonna be judging a, an Outdoor Painter Society show in Kerrville, Texas. So I'll be going down to the Hill Country, one of my favorite places on earth to go. Hopefully I will take my painting gear with me and find some time to paint. And then, uh, what's after that? Oh, <laughs> at the same time, let's do a critique. Time for our September critique. So I've already got a couple paintings in that I'm going to talk about, but if you've got a painting you want me to look at and give you a critique, send it to my email, rustyjonesart at gmail.com. Um, do that this week. Uh, so I'll be doing the editing and the review next week. All right. Have fun with this, Independent Study Week, Critique Week. Have fun, everybody.